got an interesting question from a user the other day, and they wanted to know how they could take a photograph and make it look like it's been painted. And if you want to do really artistic paint work, forget Photoshop, you need Coral Painter X or Coral Painter 10. This is what I use, and when you use it in conjunction with Photoshop, you can do everything you want, make your image look so good. But some people prefer Coral Painter X over Photoshop because of the artistic work they do. Um, Photoshop's better at comping and compositing and layer and, and, you know, stuff like that. But this Coral Painter X can pretty much do everything Photoshop can, but it's more brush-centric. It makes more like it for an artist than a compos digital compositor. This is really true to oil painting and just really artistic stuff. And I love Coral Painter X. It's really powerful. So I want to show you how we do some things in here. So the first thing I'm going to do to make it look like, you, like the guy wanted is I'm going to go to my underpainting. I'm not going to select a color scheme, but you can. You can do different color schemes from sketchbook. You know, and when we finish our effect, this will have an effect on it. Okay. But I'm just going to select, select none. Photo enhance, you can do lower contrast, higher contrast, like that. You can change color shifts. Um, it's, it's color change, desaturate, saturate, intense color. So really, it's, it's basically these are just presets for these sliders down here, okay? So you can go in just your brightness, your contrast, your hue, your saturation, all that good stuff, okay? And, and a smart blur, you can see when I bring my smart blur up, all it does to my image. You see that? So I don't want to use too much, but I want to give it a little smart blur, okay? Now, I'm going to go down here and hit apply. I don't want an edge effect or border, so I'm going to hit apply that will apply those uh, uh, settings to my picture. Then I'm going to go down here and hit Quick Clone. And this will make a clone of my picture, okay? There's nothing there yet. It's because we haven't done anything. So let's go over here to our brushes and let's select Smart Stroke Brushes. And I'm going to select Colored Pencils, okay? Make sure Smart Stroke Painting and Smart Settings are checked and hit the little green play button and it's going to go to work. And there it goes. It's going to start out big and it's going to refine its strokes down to be small and let's let it set and work and this is just one setting using the colored pencils as you can see you can use chalk and watercolors and all kinds of good stuff this is just a more artsy look okay if you can have a more clear look if you want so okay you can see there we go it looks like it's been painted so let's undo that let's try a different brush brush stroke let's try um Pastel chalk. Hit the play button. There it goes. As you can see now, it's using chalk instead of watercolors. So let's let it finish up there. It'll always start with big strokes and it'll refine down to small strokes just like a real artist. This power, this this ain't even scratching the surface of what this application can do to make your photos look like it's been painted by a real artist. And not only that, it's just you should see some of the work that's coming out of this thing. It is absolutely marvelous. Um, so now, you know, we can touch this up. We can go into our reset here and bring it down to zero. That way we're just pushing the paint around instead of actually adding any paint on top of it. Okay. Um, we can pick, let's go over here and pick a, I don't know, that'll be fine. And we can go in here and touch this stuff up if you want, you know. As you can see, I'm going in here and add my own little touches. So, there's a lot, oh man, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Let me go in here and just stroke this out a little bit here, a little bit more. I really, really love this application. I really do. I would rather use this than Photoshop any day, even though they're really for, for accomplishing different tasks. Now, as you can see, we have a photo that looks like it's been painted. And this is just a real quick hit the button. You can go in here and refine this, use different settings, use different brushes, and it can look absolutely amazing. Let's try one more real fast. There we go. So let's go over here under our underpainting. I'm not going to pick anything. Um, let's close this old one out. 
so we can work on this one. I'm not going to mess with the color scheme. I'm going to smart blur it a little bit. Maybe turn my value up some. Maybe not that high. We could even try a different color scheme like um, Impressionist. See there how that changes things? Or we can do a chalk drawing scheme. Or a sketchbook scheme. But let's just go to none. Now we've got this adjusted. We can use our photo enhance, like I said. Intense color, like that. Let's use intense color. And let's up our smart blur a tad. A little bit more this time because this is not a, actually a photo. No edge effect. Let's hit apply. Let's quick clone it. Okay, now we got that. So let's go over here. We got everything adjusted. Let's pick our smart brush. And we can use chalk again. Let's go ahead and hit play. And let's let it chalk it in there. As you can see, there it goes. Okay. Now if we want to uh, use our restoration tab, you can use a soft edge. And we can go in here and this will bring back the detail if you want to bring um, if you want to bring attention to a certain part. Let's let's brush over this eyeball here. Bring back some detail. Can you see that there? How all that's going away and now it's just a straight eye. I can do the same thing over here. Look at this eye, how blurry and, and chalky it looks. If I go over it with the detail, it straightens it out. The more I go over it, the more it changes it back to normal. Okay. Let's go over here and pick a brush. Let's pick an acrylic brush. Let's take our reset down to zero. Now we can go in here and move some stuff around. Let's take our size of our brush up. Where we straight, you know, uh, bring back the detail. We can go in here now and, and bring this back and, and, and paint it how we want and kind of smudge it around here, you know, to make it look more painty because like I said when you take the reset down to zero all you're doing is moving and pushing paint strokes around you're not actually adding any paint to it so as you can see I'm stroking this out here and it's streaking you know you can go in and do all kinds of good stuff with this application this application is wonderful I mean uh, if you're an art artist or not even you don't even have to be able to draw as you can see with this with this stuff um, Let's see if I can find any more. That probably wouldn't make a good one, would it? How about this one here? This would look. This looks good. We've already got everything set up. Let's quick clone it. Let's get our brushes Let's picked here. Our smart brush. And there we go. It's going. Let's let it paint in there. You can see how really smart this application is and can be. Okay, now that's done. We want to bring back a little bit of detail. We can by going over it with our restoration. If we want to bring attention to this little frog here, as you can see there, how I bring that back into detail. If I want to go over this thing here, make it readable. Give it just a little more detail there. Now, as you can see, I've brought back detail in the frog and in the bug up here and some of the letters. Or, of course, you can change your brush. Uh-oh. You can change your brush. Turn your reset down and you can go back in here and push this stuff around and make it look a little more painy, so to speak. As you can see, I'm, I'm just stroking this out and streaking this out now. back to the way it was okay and that's the basic gist of it how you turn any photograph into something that looks like it's been painted using Coral Painter X wonderful application guys you ought to seriously think about it especially you Photoshop users later guys